Hi there, my name is Guillermo, and I'm very happy because today we're going to take a look at the brand new Bombella Bonafé custom model, so let's check it out. The Bonafé is the modern vintage model from Bombella Base, and it was designed with the intention to combine that old school passive tone with the more modern and powerful sound with a faster response and great definition of active electronics. The Bonafé has a classic vintage body and headstock design. It kind of resembles to a J Base, but the resemble pretty much stops right there. It is a set neck construction with a heelless neck joint, which is a pretty cool feature, I think, because it allows you to go into the upper register without getting your hand cut up right at the, at the neck joint. It kind of resembles the feel of a, of a neck through body base. It features a two-piece of alder body. This base in particular has a stunning quadruple A flame maple top, which is ridiculously good looking with a matching headstock has a hip shot USA tuners ultralight, a bone nut, and the classic nitrocellulose lacquer finish. And the average weight of this base clocks around eight pounds, which is amazing. It's super light, super comfortable, and has a great balance. It also features the high mass hip shot kick as bridge, which is the new and improved version of the iconic Leo Quan Badass bridge. Hipshot made some great improvements over the original design, like the option to adjust the string spacing and has exchangeable insert saddles. This one has a brass insert which emphasizes the fundamental tone, although you can exchange it for the stainless steel ones if you want to emphasize the overtones and treble, or you can just order both and figure out later which one works for you. But it is indeed a very massive bridge that definitely delivers great sustaining clarity. It also this base has a top-notch electronic package. It has the J-style Bartolini dual inline single coils, which are noiseless. They are placed like around the 60th position. The preamp is a Bartolini custom made for Bombella base with a three-band EQ. And I gotta say, man, those guys at Bartolini, they totally nailed it with this preamp, man. This is the layout. You got your master volume, you have your tone control, you have your blend control, you have your mid control and a three-way switch for the mid frequencies. You have your bass and your treble and a concentric uh, pot and a passive active switch, which is one of the features that I love about this bass because not only does it give you additional range of tones, but let's say that you're playing in the middle of the gig and your battery goes dead, boop, flip the switch, say by the bell, my friend. So. Enough of my bobbling and let's start to, let's, let's play this puppy. Okay, let's start. We're in a passive mode with both pickups and tone control right in the middle. Let's try the neck pickup. Ooh, really p -bazy. Let's try the bridge pickup. Now with the tone control, it's, it's just a really cool because if we have it like in the front pin, the neck pickup, and we cut the 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 the, the tone control, you have like a really nice fat chunky bass line. Like let's do the the neck pickup with the tone control in the middle. Let's cut all the, let's cut the tone. Ooh. Really fat, really nice, really p -bassy. 
Now, let's do some slap. Let's go right in the center, all controls in the center. for the front pickup. Let's go for the bridge pickup. Woo. Well, you guys can hear all the classic passive tones, they're right here. specs the Bonafese a 34 inch scale bass, the nut is 1.5 inches which is fairly standard for a J bass, the fingerboard radius is a 12 inch radius which is a little bit flatter than the standard vintage 7.5 radius, the neck features a beautiful one piece double A flame maple with 24 jumbo frets and a really sexy ebony fingerboard. It also has a two-way action stainless steel adjustment truss rod that corrects up bow and back bow with an easy access to it, along with two carbon fiber rods, which definitely adds stiffness to the instrument without adding too much weight, giving you a very solid and stable neck. Now, as a disclaimer, I gotta say, I'm only using my Galen Kruger and my speaker. I'm not using any pedals. The bass doesn't have any compression. Just the way that you guys hear from here is the way that it sounds. Well, with that saying, so let's try it in an active mode. It's gonna play the same line, so then you guys can hear the difference. <laughs> more bite it gets really crispy let's listen in a passive mode active mode passive active that's one of the cool things you don't have to compensate with that with the loss of gain or extra gain with the preamp when you engage the preamp, the only thing that changed is that the bass became more, become more smooth and with a little bit more bite on the top, but pretty much that's it. I mean, there's no big difference between them. Active. There's a little bit more bite, but that's a cool thing because now with the preamp, when you engage the preamp, you can actually go crazy with this thing because it can do pretty much anything that you want. So let's go passive, all controls in the middle. Let's start with the same bass line. It's gonna beef it up a little bit with the bass. Put some of this, add some bass. got rattling very fat very full but very tight too 
And then now let's try the front pickup. Just kind of everything in the middle again. Just kind of pitch it up a little bit with the with the bass. Let's go with the with the rear pickup. Oh. Beautiful harmonics. One of the cool things, you know, you can excite a little bit the bass. We have both pickups right now. Now, we have our mid controls and we have a switch that controls three different frequencies. It controls the 250, 500, and 800 hertz. So each one of those frequencies is really specific because when I am in the, in the bridge pickup and I'm playing a song, <laughs> is playing, the drummer is playing, the keyboard playing, everybody's playing, so you kind of get lost in the sauce. So with this one, you can boost it up a little bit and you're not turning up the volume, which is kind of when all the problem starts. The only thing that you're doing is you're boosting the 800 frequency, so you're going to be able to cut through the mix with no problem at all. You will not be buried with this bass, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> a little bit it's gonna go back flat it's gonna boost it up halfway I mean it gets really you can do some serious damage with that now when you are in the neck pickup I like to boost the 500 frequency it just gives to me it just gives me like more that uh, P bassy tone that, that that I like so much, you know? Like I'm gonna put right now, I'm gonna put a little bit, I don't know, like 60% the bass. I'm gonna cut roll off a little bit the highs, like 20%. I'm gonna go front pick up the master tone right in the center. And we're gonna do it without boosting the, the frequency and then with the frequency. So this is without boosting the frequency. the frequency you guys are gonna hear the it just gets more defined and when I'm using both pickups I'm normally boost the 250 so that's my, my, my that's my preference you know like Now this bass is really responsive and it just it has a great dynamic range so you can actually pretty much do some tapping Ouch. Okay, let's go controls flat turn right in the middle Woo! Ha! 
So it's really touchy, it's really sensitive, it responds, it speaks. I mean, who doesn't want that in his bass, right? If we start to play harmonics, I mean, it's a great... We can boost the highs. all controls flat. If we go to a passive mode, it's the same. Another thing that with the preamp, now you can boost the highs, you can boost your mids. definition of what you're doing. Now, this bass is a killer slap tone in a passive mode and an active mode. It's pretty much the same. The only thing that you can do is you can boost the frequencies again. So, I don't know, let's kind of boost the 250 front pickup. Oh. control is so sensitive that you guys can notice the difference big time like that's all the way up let's roll the tone so you can figure it out too i mean like i don't like to use too much the the, the treble control but i prefer to use the tone control if i want to open it's a filter pretty much so i prefer this than uh, than be boosting the trebles, but if I need it, it's right there. And guess what? Check out, this is the best part. It's really quiet. One of the cornerstone of Bombella basses is their incredible low action that you can achieve with these instruments. I mean, it literally feels like you're gliding around the fretboard. Each Bombella bass is handcrafted in the United States, and each bass that is manufactured is unique. It has its own personality, just like you, me, or the sexy one. Well, you guys heard, the Bonafé model is a great sounding instrument with an amazing tone and lots of sounds options. It's a really versatile bass, it has premium electronics and hardware, and let's just slip in the beautiful looks and craftsmanship. This instrument definitely gives you the most bang for your buck. So you guys can visit the website that should be somewhere around right here, and there you're gonna be able to find videos, photos, bases in stock, customs, things and you're going to find a really detailed price list of customizations that you can choose of so that way you can make the Bombella base just the way you want it. So thanks for watching. My name is Guillermo and see you next time.